Well, the race continues for Amazon's HQ2 with the field narrowing to now 20 cities, including Newark, New Jersey. Our own Scott Cohn joins us now, along with New Jersey governor, its new governor, Phil Murphy. Scott. Hey, Scott, a lot of people were a bit surprised that Newark made that top 20 list, but the hope is here that they've made Amazon an offer it can't refuse. Joining us from Trenton, the 56th governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy, his first appearance on CNBC. Good to have you with us, uh, Governor Murphy. And let me ask you Great first to be of all here, about Scott. Thank that you. $7 billion in, in incentives that the state has offered, $7 billion. Are you on board with that uh, package signed into law by Governor Christie? The answer is yes. Uh, and we've been quite critical that under the Christie administration, tax incentives was the only thing that we reached for as a weapon to attract companies and only for big companies. But I have to tell you, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, it's not the only uh, uh, element of the opportunity in Newark by a long shot. It's public transportation, communities that millennials want to live in, public education, higher education. But we think the tax uh, element of the package is an important one. Well, let, let me ask you, though, as you know, and as you're finding out as you get settled in there, a lot of needs in your state, a huge pension obligation. You have a lot of homeowners that would love some tax breaks of their own. $7 billion to a company with $140 billion or so a year in revenue. Is that the best use of the state's money? Well, it's not an either or uh, reality. So we need to deliver property tax relief. We need to deliver re relief generally to the middle class. The middle class in our state has been ravaged over the past eight years, and we'll do that. Uh, fully fund public education, among other things, invest in infrastructure. Uh, but the prospect of a company that could create a real prospect, 50,000 jobs on their own, and another 50 or more thousand ancillary jobs in the economy, uh, that, th those, are, those are opportunities that don't, don't come along every day by a long shot. So we think this is a good investment in our future. It's not an investment at the expense of other investments we're going to need to make, but we think this is a smart one. Governor, it's Kelly uh, here in New York, and thank you for joining us. Uh, just as you hey, came Kelly. into office, the president did come out with his tax plan that really highlighted the tax burden in New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. Now, I know you came in promising more than a billion dollars of tax increases, but uh, are, you looking at a, a, are you looking at cutting taxes instead in New Jersey going forward as a result of this? Again, Kelly, the, the, the main uh, challenge for us is to rebuild and reinvest again in our middle class and, and in those who aspire to get into the middle class. They've, they've been left holding the bag for the past eight years. So we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that we get that middle class in our state back up on its feet. This tax law from Washington is a horrific law. Uh, it's political. Uh, it, is, uh, it takes it out on the middle class. Uh, I think it's been widely written that at the end of the day, years from now, over 80 percent of the benefits will go to the top 1 percent. So we're going to do everything we can to push back on that, whether it's legal or whether it's our creative juices by trying to find other ways. We, we announced a couple of weeks ago, by example, that we want to pursue a precedent that the IRS has set in many other states uh, to, to convert property tax payments into charitable contribution payments and therefore get a deduction. Uh, we'll do what it takes to push back on this and provide real relief to the middle class. Hi, hey, Governor. It's Scott Wapner. Do you really believe that, that Amazon has yet to make up its decision? And I, I ask you that in the spirit of a comment that was made by the NYU professor Scott Galloway on this network last week, in which he suggested it's ridiculous to think, for any of these cities to think, that Amazon hasn't already made up its mind, that he's going to pit Bezos's all of these cities against each other. He's going to get his best deal, and then he's going to go to the one he really wants and says, match what this XYZ city is willing to do to get the best deal for itself possible, but that the decision's already been made. Listen, I have no way of knowing that. I take them on their word. Uh, I believe that their process is real. Based on every interaction we've had, that's the evidence that we have. Maybe more broadly, though, beyond Amazon, I think this is a great testament to Newark and New Jersey more broadly. You know, this is a state that was Silicon Valley before there was a Silicon Valley. We had Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell and Bell Labs and all that goes with it. And so I think that this is a this is a real signal uh, that the innovation economy that used to drive this state 
uh, is is alive and well, and, and nowhere does it represent that better than Newark, which is, a, I think, a great signal regardless of whether we win, lose, or draw. It's a tall order. Governor, thank you for joining us. Governor Phil Murphy with our Scott Cohn. Scott, thank you uh, for your excellent coverage of this headquarters sure. race. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.